Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix low FPS and stuttering issue with the game on your Windows computer. So once you launch the game, uh, go to in-game settings. So go to graphics option over here. Select graphic option. Now over here, you can see everything is set to epic or high. So in that case, you can set it to medium. So if this is set to epic, you can set it to high. You can even go for medium. So indirect light here, you can see it is set to epic. So I will select medium. In my case, I will set everything to medium. So try to lower down graphics settings and then check the performance. So. Now, once you select everything to high or medium, now if the VSync is like on you can turn it off and then check if the vsync is already off you can turn it on and then check so make these changes and then check the performance now the first step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder so make a double click over here try launching the game from here if that does not work open this folder binaries win64 then make a double click over here try launching the game from here if that does not work make a right click select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok now make a double click launch the game still not working again go to properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game still not working then go to this tab select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimizations and then hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game now still not working do the same thing with the first exe file go to properties and then go to the second tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok still not working select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game so when you put a check on all these boxes still it's not working that in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok open this folder and do the same thing make a right click select properties and you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok now follow the next step now the next step is to now if you if you're using any kind of third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security in in case of windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder and then select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browser apps and this time open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and this time open this folder binaries win64 select the exe file click on open click on add now once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card 
go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website now on this website make sure that you select your series select your graphic card over here now once you select your graphic card over here make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find now once you click on find you will see this page the latest well the latest driver will be on top so right now it's 560.94 now click on view over here and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run the exe file once you run run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here now select next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to now run the game on dedicated graphic card so for this type in graphic settings in windows search box then click on graphic settings click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance and then click on save again click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now this is important make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete you can launch the game and then check now still not working the next step is to install visual c plus plus file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and download x64 so download both the files click on x86 run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case it is already installed it's telling me to restart my computer so please ignore this now download x64 and then run this exe file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install in my case both are already installed now click on restart once installed you have to restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so open windows settings and then go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option in general tab go type in dash dx11 now launch the game and then check if that does not work this time you can try dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheels pedals connected to the computer any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected also if you have extra controller connected disconnected try launching the game on single monitor disable overlay now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the gen uh, go to the i'm sorry yeah so to disable overlay go to properties and go to general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then if you have any other overlay application like if you have overlay on in discord turn it off if you have overlay on in ge force experience turn it off so close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have any kind of overclocking application running close overclocking application like msi afterburner river tuner any kind of overclocking application close it and then launch the game also if you have any kind of third party application running on a computer close it including your browsers also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then 
click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on uninstall now after the uninstall is complete go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any, or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel